Hi guys, my name is Brian. I'm one of the admissions counselors here who helps students specifically with animal science, pre-vet, and equestrian studies. Right now we're at the Western Farm and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the main office. So the main office is a really nice, welcoming uh, area. We have Carol who sits at the front desk here. Uh, she's going to help you with any kind of paperwork that you need for horses if you bring your horse to college. Uh, and then when we have horse owners send their horse to college, they come in here. And it's just a nice place, very welcoming area. Over here you can see we do have some awards for our IHSA team. Uh, we do have a pretty renowned team. We'll see the, the championships that we're recognized for uh, here in a little bit. But over on this side we have our large arena. This is the largest of three indoor arenas. You're going to be doing a ton of drills in here. You'll utilize it all four years. And it's really nice. They maintain the footing. They're dragging it all the time. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a pretty big arena, though. <laughs> oh, we can show the... This is our washroom, so you do get to use the washer and dryer out here for free if we have any kind of uh, sheets, polos, anything that you put on the horse. We want you to use that. So we're coming up on the large classroom right now. They are having class. It's senior seminar in there. So we're just gonna take a sneak peek, but they do have several different classes, judging, marketing, the sale class. Uh, and there is a fridge and a microwave back there. Take note of that. You can warm up food, have lunch in here, uh, but it's a pretty nice classroom. <laughs> So the classroom does have fully functioning Wi-Fi, um, and it works pretty well. Phone service out here is a little bit hard to come by, but the Wi-Fi is really good. I mentioned that we would see our championship wall. Uh, we do work eight-time national championship team between the English Farm and the Western Farm. Uh, our, this is our IHSA team, so that's Intercollegiate Horse Showing and Association. We also have a ranch horse team, which is really, really cool. We're the only ranch horse team at the collegiate level on this side of the Mississippi. So our students compete against other uh, local trainers and riders in the Finley area. If you want to get on either team, it is pretty competitive. Uh, they do have tryouts. About 70 to 80 students will try out and about 30 make it on each team. Uh, but you can definitely do that if you're on the IHSA team. They have one workout a week, and then they have one practice a week. You're gonna be on several different horses, and it's like a draw from a hat format. So you're gonna be on a horse that you drew from the hat, and you're showing it as soon as you walk into the arena. All right. This is our small classroom. So it doesn't look like we have, there's someone in there, but um, it's a pretty, nice place to go if you ever want to relax maybe have some lunch we do have the computers over there uh, you'll be writing cult papers and you can utilize the printer that is in there for free right here we have our staff offices so uh, <laughs> they're they're pretty small actually because a lot of our faculty and staff members are going to be out in the arenas with you they're going to be teaching you, riding their own horses, uh, and really being involved in the program. Along this wall here, we do have some storage area for our horse show teams. I mentioned a little bit about the IHSA team and being in a draw, uh, random draw format. The ranch horse team, you will get one horse for the semester, and you'll progress with that horse. And they show a lot more of the ranch events and the cattle, um, sorting and cutting, all kinds of things. So, Pretty cool opportunity there. We're coming up on the first lockers uh, for freshmen. So that's the furthest locker that you can have from back barn where all of our horses are. It's a pretty busy area. <laughs> 
students are in and out of the arenas all the time, doing different drills, learning new techniques, ways that they can ride and communicate with their horses. We do hold an annual tax sale. It fills up the large arena, the new arena that Brandon showed there for a little bit, uh, and these falls too. It's a really great place to get tax. And if you want, you can sell your tax there and make a little bit of money as well. We have a nice little mural here. One of our past students actually drew this on the back of the bleachers. So you will utilize the bleachers for demos. You have several demos, especially about every two weeks you switch horses as a freshman, and you have demos uh, when you switch horses as well. We do have several different organizations who show here. Uh, YIDA, which is the Youth Equestrian Development Association, is one of those teams that will hold different shows here, especially during the summers. Uh, the University of Finley is very active and has shows almost every weekend. This is an example of a tack locker. So every student's going to be assigned a nice tack locker here at the Western Farm. You're going to get the shelves in the back, the shelves on the doors. Every locker is going to have at least one saddle rack, not necessarily two. Uh, but they will have either these black little hangers or they'll have pegs as well for bridles and such. It's plenty of storage for all the stuff that you'll need. We do have a tack list online if you're interested in what you'll need for our program. And we usually have a tack trailer that comes the first week of school that will also sell some items. If you are curious on what you need uh, or don't know, they'll be able to help you. We do have a scale here. <laughs> the scale is used because our horses do have to be body scored once a month. Their body scored on a scale of one to nine, and you as a student get to learn how to adjust their feed. Uh, you're gonna be helped by our two barn managers and senior interns. We'll get to see their office here in a second. This is first aisle though, mainly seniors are in this aisle. We do have some juniors. Uh, the senior year is kind of the pinnacle of the program where you get to ride a senior rainer, and then you also get to train a fraternity horse from the start to finish. And it's, it's a really great opportunity to showcase all things that you've learned during your time here. And really cool to get to focus on the reining a little bit. In the lockers here on the side, we do have several different um, you know, things that you might want to use. We have cutting saddles there in the first locker because you do a cutting unit your junior year. And not everybody brings a cutting saddle, so we have those available for all students. We also have additional wraps, uh, polos and stuff. But we do suggest that you bring all of your own stuff. These are just extras in case you need some more. We have some extra sheets. We have the grain room in here. And then we come up to sophomore aisle in the barn manager's office. You gonna show in there? So as I mentioned, we do have two barn managers. They're gonna be the first people that you go to whenever you have any kind of issues. If you're wondering when your horse is getting trimmed next for the farrier, uh, if they need dental work, they're going to help you if your horse is ever lame. They take care of everything. So they make sure that you're temping daily. They make sure that your stalls are getting cleaned and they do a lot. They're super helpful, super nice. Linda and Carol are gonna be awesome. You'll get to know them for sure. Right here we have our board. It's kind of where they track everything. Um, they, they just post everything that you're gonna need to know there. We also have a fair plate here. It's pretty cool. So it just vibrates and it increases the blood circulation in the horse's limbs. Helps with lameness. If you do bring your own horse here, uh, which is an option, you have access to everything here on campus. So the fair plate, all three indoor arenas, the outdoor arenas, we have a walker turnout area and you can bring that it is a, a charge for board but your horse is going to be fed and then you have to make sure it gets out and this all gets cleaned we're coming up on junior aisle so junior aisle has all of the the really rough courses for the four different units that you're going to do your junior year which is western riding cutting uh, western pleasure and trail 
And then last year, I think they added a horsemanship unit as well. And these horses are really broke, and junior year is a super great year to learn where you want to go in the industry and what part of the industry you like. This is Freshman Isle. Uh, Freshman Isle has our tool room. So our tool room uh, is a little bit empty right now <laughs> because of COVID. We assigned everyone a pitchfork, but typically we'd have our, our pitchforks back here. You do have to clean stalls three days a week. Freshman and sophomore year, you'll typically get about two stalls. And then junior and senior year, you're gonna get usually one stall, maybe two. But as you progress through the years, you're gonna ride more and you're going to work work a little bit less in terms of feedings and doing stalls. So it's really nice that seniority kind of helps you here. We do have the, the wash racks back here. There is heat and cooled water. for work study so you are capped off at 29 hours as a student because being a student comes first but if you ever want to pick up additional waterings uh, or weekends then you can work on the weekend uh, students are typically working all day Saturday and then they choose a feeding in the morning or afternoon on Sunday really great opportunity to get a little extra money while you're in school we have our turnouts back here. So as I mentioned, if you do bring your horse to college, you do get to use these. We also have our manure pad over here. Uh, some local farmers actually come in and they'll use that. We have our sawdust shed. And then we also have our hay, hay shed over here. We go through about 4 million pounds of hay between the three farms. That's the animal science farm, the Western farm, and the English farm. Here we feed square bales. And the cool thing as we approach the parking lot, you'll tell or you'll notice that a lot of the license plates aren't just from Ohio. You might not see it in the video, but <laughs> I'll tell you that not very many or not all of them are from Ohio. There was a student in my class because I went through the program and she's actually from Luxembourg, Europe. We've had students from all over California, Florida, Maine all parts of the U.S. and we're going back into the arena. All right, so we can start, kind of step over here and talk about the new arena. So new arena has a really cool thing there in the corner. It's called the Robo Flag, the Robo Cow. We put horses on that before they actually cut live cattle. It's also cool to note that we're one of the only universities in the nation to have live cattle on campus. And there's plenty of stalls around the edge of this arena as well. In total, we can hold about 250 horses at this farm. Now we're gonna take a long walk over to Staff Barn. <laughs> All right. We made it over to the staff barn. As we're walking back here, I just wanted to mention that all of our professors and instructors are really active in the industry. They're super encouraged to go out and do things, whether that's give clinics, judge, train, uh, do several different things in the industry. So they, they all have their own training business. So that's why there's a staff barn. There are several horses in training for each of them. And they all do different things. So some of them are all around trainers, some of them are reining trainers, we have some ranch riding trainers, and they've done a lot of different things in the past. Uh, some of them have done the English, uh, all kinds of things. So our instructors are really well versed and have strong backgrounds in the horse industry. All right, we're outside now. So these are our round pens. 
You're going to use them a lot during the fall semester. You're going to break out horses. You have to break out two horses here at the Western Farm. You do have the option to break out three because you can take on a second one your, your second semester. But you're going to teach them everything from lunging to line driving to accepting the first saddle to accepting the first ride and so on. And it's really cool to see how the horses progress as you go. You can see the trailers are set up right now. Students do have to treat, teach horses how to load in the trailer. They teach them how to load in the step up and in the slant load. And you'll do that with your unbroke horses. And you'll also learn how to do that with the really broke horses your freshman year. And juniors and seniors also do it. So all four years, you're gonna be teaching them how to load. Out back, you can kind of see there's a, a what we call the track. It's our outdoor arena. Behind that, there's another smaller arena. And those are really nice for the raining. There's a ton of space out there. You can do a lot of running, get a lot of good stopping work in and um, really, really useful for the program. We have some more turnouts over here. These are mainly used for staff horses, but we do use them for back barn horses as well. In the middle, you can see the tan barn on the right side is our isolation barn. So if a horse ever gets sick, uh, they will be there. And especially if they have a temperature, if they're coughing, we don't want the rest of the herd to be infected. And then on the left side of that barn is our vet part. So if a horse, uh, you know, we've had some that have been bred to the university and they'll check for follicles there. They will do dental work and some basic procedures over here. And then as we go beyond this barn here in the middle back there you can kind of see where the yellow Kubota is that barn uh, that is where our third indoor arena is uh, the footing down there is a little bit deeper and they do cutting down there on the live cattle so i think that mainly wraps up what the western farm has to offer uh, and, and it's a lot it's a definitely a great barn and i would encourage you to visit